The official translation of chapter 365 has vastly changed my thoughts on an important scene from the chapter from what was depicted in the fan translation. You see, after reading the fan version of chapter 365, Nero's inner monologue and cry for Asta gave me the impression that Tabata was finally fulfilling a certain section of the fandom's pleas and adding her to Asta's ever-growing harem. With the dialogue, in my personal opinion, having heavy romantic undertones. The official translation, however, completely nicks that idea, making it very clear that she simply sees Asta as a dear friend and someone who is very, very important to every member of the Black Bulls, breaking the hearts of some fans after finally getting a glimpse of hope that their favorite ship might finally have potential. Moving on to a much more shocking topic, I've seen a surprising amount of people questioning exactly how the fight between Asta and Dominatio will go down in the following chapters, with some actually wondering if Asta might struggle to beat the Paladin due to his new atmospheric magic gifted to him by Lucius. And okay, look, I get this idea. Admittedly, this new magic is extremely overpowered, seemingly able to slash his opponents multiple times just by being within a certain proximity to him. Not to mention, the attacks being completely invisible make it almost entirely impossible to detect and defend against. Realistically, going up against a majority of the cast of Black Clover, Domnatia would have a pretty easy win. But the person he's fighting against is Asta, the one person who can not only withstand his attacks due to his high physical endurance, but completely ignored him. Almost everything we saw Donatio do against the Bulls in the last two chapters, Asta, even without the use of Zen, can completely negate. And Donatio's scale magic works by stealing mana from its opponents and using it against them. Well, Asta doesn't have mana, so that's not going to work. And you might think in that case, well, he could steal the remaining mana from those he already defeated and use that to attack Asta. True, he could do that. But Asta has four anti-magic swords that he could use to simply cut away any magic attack he throws at him, one of which has the ability to deflect magic right back at his opponent. So scales, yeah, they're out. Okay, well, what about his new atmospheric magic? Surely the magic that originally belonged to a supreme devil will give him the advantage in this fight, especially since it seemingly works off of an area of effect type of attack. And again, admittedly, that one is a bit more tricky, but even still, Asta has multiple ways around it. For starters, Asta's Demon Destroyer Sword has the ability Causality Break, which allows him to completely negate magical effects around him, and when amplified by his Devil Union, allows him to completely negate area of effect type of abilities. But Asta wouldn't even need to use his Demon Destroyer Sword, because his Devil Union alone already naturally negates AoE types of abilities, simply due to the fact that it is constantly radiating a field of anti-magic around Asta which is why he was able to stand when fighting against Lucifero despite his presence of the Devil King spell. So, atmosphere magic, yeah, and that's how too, which leaves us with simply Dominatio's physical attacks, which in this situation would most likely be him using his sword. Well, that is, assuming the sword is an actual physical sword and not one made from magic, because if it is magical, again, Devil Union would easily negate it. But even if it is physical, Asta losing a sword fight to Dominatio is still just simply impossible. Because at this point in the story, after all the swordsmen Asta has fought, trained under, and learned from, his swordsmanship skills are top tier, while Dominatio simply waves his sword around chaotically to induce his magical effects. I honestly wouldn't even be surprised if you told me that was the first time Dominatio even wielded his sword based on his use of it in the fight against the bulls. Okay, so scales, check. Atmosphere magic, check. Swordsmanship, check. Asta clearly counters everything Dominatio could possibly do during their battle, making this fight completely a one-sided affair. I mean, honestly, with how in favor of winning Asta is in this battle, I'd be surprised if the fight lasted more than a few pages, let alone multiple chapters. The only reason I could see it going beyond chapter 366 is if Dominato uses the Wounded Black Wolves as hostages. But even then, I don't see it going beyond chapter 367. So, in conclusion, Asta wins this fight with very, very low diff. But the more exciting discussion is who else came through the door of Destiny with him? If you've been watching for a while, you know that I've been banking on the idea that definitely Ichika is one of the few characters from the Land of Rising Sun who will be making a journey over to the Clover Kingdom. But will any of the other Ryuza 7 members be making that journey with her? And to find out that answer, we'll have to wait and see what the next few chapters have in store for us.